Hello, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alexandra. Thank you so much for being here, for practicing with me. We have a short practice and the intention here is actually to use the practice as a way for you to create what you need. Um, so think about maybe as an intention, what would you like to create by the end of this practice, right? So what, what exactly is there and you want to create? Or maybe how would you like to feel at the end of the practice? That can help as well. So if you need some energy, if you need some relaxation, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find them both. And my intention here for you and is just about coming into this practice as a way for you to be present, as a way for you to have a moment in which you are creating space around you so you can take care of yourself. So you can, it's, it's gonna feel more like a big breath in and big breath out. And I'm pretty sure you already know this feeling. So if you're ready, I want you to come on your mat and please come into a cross leg seated position and on your knees. And then I want you to lengthen through the crown of your head. Maybe make some circles here with the shoulders, checking in. We are holding so many things on the shoulders. So how about we, if we check in? And then just let them, send them back and down and close our eyes for a moment. So take a deep breath in through the nose and a big breath out through the mouth. Okay, and then come to the natural rhythm of your breath. Noticing how the breath feels in the moment. Noticing if it's a shallow or like a really fast, you are breathing really fast or maybe it's a calm breath. Just allow yourself to notice. And with each exhalation, start softening your body and start by relaxing the muscles of your face and especially the muscles around your eyes. And then drop into your body and notice every sensation. Notice what parts of the body can you relax a little bit more. And just come from a place of acceptance, no need to change anything. Let's stay for three more breaths, in and out, through the nose, right here, right now. Last one, take a deep breath in. And then let it go. Okay, whenever you feel ready, you can open your eyes. And maybe interlace your fingers and send your arms up, breathe in, take a deep breath, give yourself a big stretch. And then exhale, round through your spine, chin into your chest. And then again, send your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, round. One more, breathing in. Exhale and let it go. Good, and then come back towards the center, palms on your knees, and just make some circles in here, sending your chest forward, and then move to the right, and then chin into your chest while you go over to the back. Okay, so just remember there is no such thing as a perfect movement. You may feel weird a little bit doing all these shapes, but the intention is just to get into your body. You can switch the direction, so because we all have this tendency maybe of looking at our bodies when we practice but honestly in time with practice of course you're gonna end up you know correcting let's say the poses but at the same time it's all about dropping into the body all about allowing yourself to feel more and more Jean, i'm sorry i'm practicing there is no space for you here. You can come later. 
Yes, okay, and <laughs> let's meet into child's pose. So bring the knees as wide as your mat, big toes together. And let's just stay for three breaths. Okay, and if you, if you find it really challenging to bring your head on the ground, you may use a block or it's not that big of a deal if you don't bring the forehead on the ground. Three full body breaths. Okay, last breath. And let it go. Good. And then press down. Let's meet for downward facing dog in here. So send your hips up and back and start by walking your dog a little bit. <sighs> okay, so how are you feeling today? And I'm talking about giving yourself an answer from your body instead of using your mind to have that answer. Good, settle into your down dog and then start pressing equally into your palms and into your feet and send the hips up and a little bit back. Breathing in and breathing out. Send the right leg up, breathe in. And then bend the knees, stack your hips. Okay, stay for the breath. And then exhale, you're gonna bring your knee into your chest and you're gonna step at the top of your mat. Left knee comes down and very gently come all the way up for this low lunge. Okay, hips are coming a little bit back, squeeze your inner tight and then find, holding that strength, find the depth. Good. Hmm. Let's stay for one more breath. And then exhale, release your palms at the top of your mat. Send your left knee up. Straighten your front leg. Okay, and then bend your back knee. Step at the top of your mat. You may have your big toes together here. Uh, you may have your feet hip distance apart or you may have your feet um, as wide as the mat. I'm going a little bit closer to the edges of the mat because I have this belly and there is no more space for me to do this. So you just choose in here and then take a halfway lift, breathe in, fold. Good, exhale. And then take a deep breath in and come all the way up, extended mountain pose. Exhale and dive forward. Halfway lift. Good, palms down, step back for high plank. And you can take your chaturanga. I'm inviting you to take it with your knees down and take a cobra. Uh, or you can just take a couple of push-ups with me here because there is no chaturanga for me anymore. And then we meet for a downward facing dog. Well, not until next year. So we are quite close. <laughs> take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Left leg comes up. Bend the knee, stack your hips. Exhale, step in between your palms. Drop your right knee down. Okay, arms up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Squeeze your inner tights. And breathe. Last one. Exhale, release your palms at the top of your mat. Good, send your hips back and then bend your right knee. Now step at the top of the mat, fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Extended mountain pose, reach up. Okay, and then exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift. Good, step back for high plank to low plank. Take your cobra or your chaturanga and then we meet for a down dog. Okay, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, you got this. Let's stay for one more breath and let it go. Send your right leg up, breathe in. 
Exhale, step in between your palms. Come all the way up for a crescent lunge. Okay, sit a little bit lower. Press the center of your front heel. Back heel stays on top of your toes. And just breathe here. Or I know you are breathing, of course, but just be aware of the breath. Okay, breathe in. Oh, exhale, palms in front of your chest. Hinge forward. Find your warrior three, palms in front of your chest. And your left toes are pointing down. Good. Now imagine that you are pressing the crown of your head forward and your left heel back. Good job. One more breath. And then start bending your front knee, step back, left palm comes down, right arm comes up. And if you see your right hip coming up, I want you to send it a little bit down so you can have the hip in the same line with the knee. Good, one more breath. And then exhale. You're gonna start building this triangle. So extend your front leg, maybe grab your ankle or a block. Left arm goes up, just breathe. Now start with the physical foundation. So press your feet down, keep the legs engaged. Good. One more breath. Exhale, come all the way up. Bend your front knee, find your warrior two. Exhale, you got this. Okay, so say hello to your legs. We are here. We are going deeper. Good, reverse your warrior, breathe in. Exhale, come back for warrior two. And then send your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, you're gonna fold. And now I want you to bend your left knee and then grab your ankle or your shin with your right palm, okay? Left arm goes above your head. And from here, you're gonna straighten your front, your left leg, and you're gonna bend the right knee, going yourself into a bit of a twist here. Okay, good. I'm telling you, we are going deeper and deeper into the body. One more breath. Exhale. Come back towards the center. Good job. Walk your palms all the way to the front of the mat. Come for high plank, low plank. Or do some push-ups with me. Go for your chaturanga. And then we meet for down dog. Whew. Guys, I miss so much doing a chaturanga, honestly. I miss laying down on my belly. Oh, it's just amazing. It's amazing that you can do some things and at the same time it's amazing seeing what your body can do. Oh, it's just a bit of a shifting in perspective and it's not just about permanency but I guess we need it in our lives more and more. Good. Left leg goes up. Breathe in. Exhale, step in between your palms. Okay, come all the way up. Okay, so it seems that my, I'm stepping not that long as I used to, and, but I'm still there. Okay, now sit a little bit lower, good. Send your left hip back, right hip forward. I know you can feel the legs. Stay with every sensation that shows up, any emotion. Last breath. Exhale, palms in front of your chest, hinge forward. Find your warrior three. Okay, you may start with your standing knee bent. Okay, press your foot down, pull abdominals in, 
and then start building and expanding. Good. Turn even the right pinky toe down. This is going to give you access to square your hips. Good. Last breath. And now start bending your front knee. Step back. Right palm comes down and we twist over to the left. And again, left hip. Left hip is, how can I say it? It's a little bit, uh, wants to come up. I don't know how to say it. A little bit make. <laughs> okay, so send it down. Have it here in the same line with the knee. Left arm comes up. Last breath. And then exhale very gently. You're going to start building your triangle pose. You may grab the block on the exterior of your leg using whatever height of the block you need. Maybe you are taller than me and you need the tallest height. So just go for it. Okay. Press your feet down. Keep the legs engaged. Just remember that we are not doing these poses just to do the poses. There is always some kind of action into every pose, like pressing down, lifting up, pressing the crown of your head towards the front of the mat and then exhaling, right shoulder goes back and you rotate the rib cage a little bit more out towards the ceiling. One more breath. Exhale, and then come up. Find your warrior two on the left side. Stay with me, I know. Press the outer edge of your back foot. One more breath. Reverse the, the, your warrior. And then exhale, come back. Send your arms up, parallel your feet to the right. Exhale and fold. Whew. That was good. Okay, now start bending your right knee and you're going to grab your ankle or your shin with your left palm. Right arm comes above your head. Make yourself comfortable here. Whenever you feel ready, you're going to straighten your right leg and bend your left knee. And very gently twist and send the right shoulder back as a way for you to open up the rib cage towards the ceiling. One more breath. Good job. Okay, release. Now work your palms all the way to the front of the mat. Let's go for our last vinyasa, high plank, low plank, cobra, up dog, or maybe some push-ups, and then downward facing dog. Good job. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more. And let it go. Good. Last one. Now bring your knees on the ground, swing your legs to one side, and then extend the legs in front of your body. And from here, we have a couple of options. So you either bend your right knee and bring your foot on top of your left thigh, palms behind your back, and you take this seated oh, figure four, I would say. Make sure you're not collapsing here. So press the crown of your head for up and your chest forward, or you may come for double pigeon, making sure that your shins are parallel with the front edge of the mat and one on top of the other. You may use the blocks here, either maybe pressing the knee down, either maybe 
resting your forearms on the blocks, whatever height you need. You may start here, and this is so important to take it step by step, and you can be here for a couple of breaths. Exhale, good, let it go. Hmm. Let it go or let go of whatever is there and it's somehow bothering you so you can create the space that you need to be present and discover other things. And if you feel ready, maybe you can go a little bit lower on the medium height of the block. feel the resistance but at the same time the stretching is feeling is making you feel good or maybe you know you're you don't understand what I'm talking about and that's fine too because I really want you to tap into whatever it's there and you are feeling okay let's switch choose your option And just notice if on this side is a little bit different, if it's easier, if you feel more flexible or it's just you may feel more resistance than on the other side. soften a little bit more and sometimes softening feels a little bit like letting go This is it, it's time for us to take Shavasana. Hmm. So very gently lay down on your back. Extend the legs as wide as the mat. I'm just gonna keep my feet on the ground as wide as the mat and letting my knees fall one towards the other. And just give your Send your arms by your side, palms are facing up and start making yourself very comfortable. So adjusting your body, adjusting the clothes you are wearing, anything that it doesn't make you feel good, but you can change that. And together, let's take a deep breath in right here and a deep breath out right here. to the natural rhythm of your breath. And relax every part of the body and every muscle. This is your moment to just be.
already very gently start turning yourself to the favorite side of your body, knees into the chest. And have a moment here and acknowledge yourself for showing up today. Very gently peel yourself up into a seated position of your choice. Okay, close your eyes for a moment and notice how do you feel? What has changed or maybe even shifted since you started this practice? forehead let's bow together namaste thank you so much for being here for choosing to practice with me and for sharing your practice with me i hope you feel the way you wanted to feel or even better um, and i hope to see you soon on the mat